American Airlines shut down all of its operations in its hub city of Charlotte, and that includes a few in and out of KCI as well. So look right now, if you are traveling, expect cancellations to other East Coast cities and airports as well. More than 85 million people are waiting for this blizzard that's predicted to bring up to two feet of snow to some areas. Washington, D.C. residents are being advised to stay inside for the next 36 hours. Already, the advancing storm has canceled a ceremony at the White House where President Obama was scheduled to present medals for science, technology and innovation. Jay Gray is in Roanoke, Virginia, with a look at this blockbuster snowstorm. The massive winter storm is barreling down on the east coast and bringing with it heavy snow expected in some areas to top two feet. The National Weather Service says this could be one of the most severe storms ever to hit the region. Washington, D.C. is directly in the crosshairs. Residents being told to stay inside and ride it out. Matter two feet of snow, that's, that's a big deal. Um, you know, the big stresses that we're looking at, we're making sure this morning through today, residents are ready. More than 1,200 miles of winter weather advisories have been issued from the south through New England, impacting millions, with blizzard warnings stretching from Washington through New York. We uh, see this as a, a major storm. Uh, it has uh, life and death implications, and all the residents of the District of Columbia should uh, treat it that way. In North Carolina and Virginia, the concern is thick ice bringing down power lines. Traveling is treacherous for those venturing out to go to work. I definitely trust my legs more than I trust wheels at this point, and I only live a mile away, so I was like, I'll just walk. Thousands of flights across the region have been canceled. The Charlotte Airport, virtually a ghost town now, with no flights in or out. More than 2,400 flights have already been canceled across the country, a number that, like the snow totals, is expected to grow over the next several days. Jay Gray, NBC News, Roanoke, Virginia.